just about ready to go. And our pitcher in this game, Tanner Bybee. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there. Well, incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. And into the box for Baltimore, Colton Kowser. And another ball. Two two now. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Here's Adley Rutschman. A little out front there as he swings through it. That one hit to right. And that'll fall for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. That in third. The right field. Anthony, Anthony Santander at the plate. The pitch. And ball another three. ball. So here in the three spot, Chris, a hitter, low average, but high slug. Well, one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck hitting the ball right at people. That ball. one misses. Three and one now. And he walked him. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. And that one fouled off. The pitch. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. So first and second with two outs. Ryan O'Hearn, the next to hit. The 1-1. One, one. That's a little bit low. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. First inning and already up to 23 pitches. Hard hit, right side. And the inning He's is up. over. Orioles strand a couple. Now the Guardians will get their shot, still scoreless. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in Cleveland, and towing the slab, Cade Povich. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. We go to the bottom of the first, stepping up for the Guardians, Stephen Kwan. That one missed. Two balls, two strikes. Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. A 
That's towards center. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And there's a ball. And now the lefty to first, might be two, the throw to second, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Now it's Jose Ramirez. to the right center base hit and that extends the inning everything came together for him really good swing right there he got a pitch that he knew he could handle allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer and he hit the ball on the screws good now it's Josh Naylor Povich checks over to first and he's back Two outs. Runner on the go. And a foul ball. Squirts away a little bit. And the runner stays where he is. Runner goes again. Stays alive. Still two and two after the foul ball. Here comes a pinch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Eight. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Guardians lead one. Scoreless after one. Here in Cleveland, and now Jordan Westberg. Jordan Westberg. Next pitch misses. Two and one. Fastball for a strike. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, and that's kind of all you can ask for, really, just a fair chance to go out and have success. 3-2 now. In the air to left, down the line. Quad in position makes the catch up against the wall in foul territory. And stepping in, the rookie left fielder, Heston Kerstad. That missed inside, and it's two and one. This to third, a dive, he's got it, to first. And that's a great play for the out. Third base have to be so quick with their first step reactions, hot shots like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. We got two balls, one strike.
in the air right field brings it in and that is that we'll go to the bottom of the second no score bottom of the second down the third baseman David Fry the third baseman the line of the pitch swing and that ball smashed on a line lays out and makes the play that is the second base. this dive wasn't the result of a bad route singing the only reason he made the play is because his route was so good no doubt boog Statcast tells the same story i mean he got to a spot as quickly as you can possibly get there and he had to in order to have a chance at that diving play. Just special. Here's Andre Jimenez. Swings through that. One out, base is empty. Fights it off, he'll see another. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, he used the slow curve very effectively right there. He just spun it up to the plate and had his guy way out front. Not only a good pitch, but a really good job of setting it up. John Kenzie Noel digs in for the Guardians. And he can't come up with it. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. The Guardians go down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. And we're back. And now the rookie second baseman, Connor Norby. Connor Norby. The wide, the kick, and the one two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Next it's offering all. way upstairs. Right. And that's outside. The wide, the kick, the pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. So the lineup flips over, and here is Colton Kowser. Nobody out, runner at first. Pivey throws over. Norby back in on a dive. Left hand batter waits. Double play ball to second. There's one. On the nailer, we got two. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. Good That's eye right there. Though Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Two down, nobody on. The right hander no, gives no, up no. the two out walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a now very aggressive secondary right. lead. So a ball Anthony. down the line or an into the gap there. will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. 1 1 now. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. It is interesting, though. When you consider the way the game is run now, it doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and that is that. And the Orioles leave one, and we're still knotted at zero.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the bottom of the third. Bo Naylor at the plate now. Ball, that's it. The 2-1. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Here's Brian Rocchio. That misses the zone. Two and one. But just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. The wind and the pitch. That one fouled off, two and two. And here it comes. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Hits and misses, it's a strikeout. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Steven Kwan digs in for the Guardians. One out, base is empty, and a run in here in the last half of the third. Bounce to the right, O'Hearn. Steps on Got first it. for the out. Now back. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Angel Martinez. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. <laughs> Cleveland with the solo shot to take an early lead. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. As we go to the top of the fourth. And now the DH, Ryan Mountcastle. Mountcastle. Just well, missed. Awesome. You know, these Orioles showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. Battling here as he fouls it away. Righty to the plate. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Brian O'Hearn comes up to him. Off nope. the mark there, and it's two and one. Way to lay off that pitch down. Next offering is in for a strike. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Now oh, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. And next for the Orioles, Jordan Westberg. That pitch in for a strike. And now two and two. The Guardians leading by a run. Top half of inning number four. The next pitch misses. Three and two now. In the air, center field. Sizes this one up. 
And he makes the catch. The bat. The left hand. Now the left fielder, Heston Kerstad. Mountcastle leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings and misses, struck him out. One left for the Orioles. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back now at Progressive Field. John Chavi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Jose Ramirez. Here's a 1 1. Line drive, base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. That's back to back singles for him. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Here's Josh Naylor. The one one and another ball. ball you know these guardians do a great job Boog of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him he's only given up one run but the starters pitch count is starting to get up there and that might be the best news yet for this offense kicks and fires and a foul ball you know sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage and that might be the case today no, over to first that. and he saved Two and two. Hex and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. We found a way to just get it by him. And up next for Cleveland, David Fry. The 2-1. And that one wrapped foul. Man at first, one away. Run around the goal. Pitch misses in. Throw. Save. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal a base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. Cleveland up a run, looking for more. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. At the belt and fires. Foul off again, and it remains three and two. Man at second. Fly ball down the line, and that will drop foul. Always well, having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Two on, one out. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Next offering is in for a strike. Runners at first and second with one gone. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Still two and two after the foul ball.
And a pitch. And that's just foul. Two two now. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. That gets down for a hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Now batting, right fielder. So up next, John Kenzie Noel. Kicks and deals. Ball that was there. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. One out, base is full. That one just misses, and that's ball three. That pitch was pretty borderline at the top of the zone, and he's not digging the call out there on the mound. Clearly pretty frustrated, so he's going to have to collect himself a little. Swing and a miss struck him out. Huge strike out there. Got to give him a huge amount of credit on the mound right there. He got squeezed a little bit on the pitch right before that one. You know it should have been a strike. Everyone in the building knew that it should have been a strike, but he didn't let it get to him and throw him off his game. Came back with another good pitch for the punch out with the bases loaded. That's good pitching right there. Bo Naylor digs in for the Guardians. Here's a 2-1. In the air, left field, Kerstad, as this one sized up, drops into the glove, and that will end the inning. Three left for the Guardians. They lead it 1 0. All set for the start of the inning, and into the box for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. Ground ball left side. Throws across the diamond and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Here's the second baseman, Connor Norby. And another ball. Cleveland has some action going in their pen. Gavin Williams getting ready to go. Curry warming up as well. The Guardians up by a run. And we're at the top of the fifth. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Fry drifts towards it. Makes the grab and there's two gone. Got the pitch that he wanted. Just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. So next to hit for Baltimore, Colton Kowser. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Looking sharp, just a strike away from five shutout innings. Cut on and miss. Struck him out, and it's a one, two, three inning. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. They still trail one nothing. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, number 49. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Brian Rocchio getting ready to hit. And that one a little bit high. You know, these Guardians, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've been lining the ball all over the ballpark, and unfortunately, sometimes it's right into a glove. But still, they've hit nine line drives so far, and that's something they should feel very good about. Speaking of those line drives, you can't get too discouraged when they don't drop in for you. It's important to remember that you pretty much did everything right, and that's just baseball sometimes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 
Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. to the top of the lineup and the batter now Stephen Kwan next offering in there for a strike that's strike two two strikes bases empty one away last half of inning number five And that's in the dirt. Action in the pen down there. Grayson Rodriguez up and throwing. Aiken also throwing. One down, base is empty. Chopped to the right side. And he grabs it in foul ground. The wind of the pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. And there's two down. The center fielder, number one, Angel. Now at the plate, Angel Martinez. Two down, nobody on. He swings and fouls one off. Right-handed reliever. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup, and it's a three-up, three-down inning. Nothing doing for the Guardians there, but they're on top, one nothing. New inning getting started. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Outside, and that is ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. With the go-ahead run at the plate, and we're in the top half of the sixth. sure what he was waiting on right there he got the change up and still late on it you rarely see that it almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up I mean if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff there's no way you're going to touch a fastball Ryan Mountcastle digs in now Rutschman the runner at first with one gone to the inning Way high with that one. Two and two. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Tanner Bybee will depart. He exits with the lead and gave them a really nice performance. New pitcher on the bump when we get back. The Guardians going with a new pitcher, Tim Heron. He's been so good against lefties.
First and second, one out. And next for the Orioles, Ryan O'Hearn. The other way, and a base hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded, only one away. A couple of singles back to back. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Dine runs now just 90 feet away. Just got to be wary of that double play, though. That would strand him in any inning. And now it's going to be Jordan Westberg. Next offer in there for a strike. And it's one and two. Base is loaded. One away. Picks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. Ada Jimenez out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. Orioles leave them loaded. They trail here, one nothing. Here in Cleveland, bottom of the sixth inning. Here's Jose Ramirez, the designated hitter. The one one. Ramirez. All right, Siggy, yep, trivia time. Back when this ballpark opened, 1994, one future Hall of Famer hit the first triple in the park, and another hit the first homer by a Cleveland player. Think you know who they were? Okay, I know that Ken Griffey Jr. hit the first triple here, but first homer for Cleveland. Uh, give me a hint. Switch hitter. That's all you're getting. Oh, dude. Eddie Murray, no doubt. Bam. Nope. The batter now. Josh Naylor. Here's a 1 1. And that one fouled off. That's that down and in. Base is empty, one away here in the bottom of the sixth. The 2 2. Got him swinging. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. That Ball misses. Two. It's two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And a pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Guardians fail to score, but they still lead it one nothing. So Cleveland brings out a new reliever, Gavin Williams. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Well, one run game. Here's the third baseman, Ramon Urias. Looking to get the tying run on base. That one finds the zone, and the count is one and two. Meanwhile, Activity in the bullpen. Number 36 appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Cantillo also getting ready. And the slider just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. He's got it. And there's one down. 
Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Now it's the second baseman, Connor Norby. One down, base is empty. That one ran three inside, two. almost got him. Center field. Martinez snags it for the second out. The battle, the center field. Colton, Colton Kowser will hit next. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give a one more thing for that pitcher to think about. And another ball. Adley Rutschman waiting for a turn at the plate. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Two outs. And that's ball four. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. The pitch. Right now they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Well, with the tie and run at first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on, drive it into a gap, and score that run from first base. Yeah, the right hander deals. Ball. Up and in. The count now two and two. Trying to hold a one run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Headed for the plate. The relay. He's safe. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. As a hitter, there's not a whole lot better of a feeling than a double into the gap. Right off the bat, you know you put a great swing on the baseball. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Anthony Santander. Man on second, two down. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The one two. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. Inning over. And it could have been worse. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve. But that's okay. As long as he's getting results. And right there. Thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. The second baseman, Andres Jimenez. Ball to strike. The pitch. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Righty delivers. That one almost got him. That was smoke through the infield. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. John Kenzie Noel, the next to hit. And the pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Not a big fastball on the mound by today's standards, just low 90s, but when you can pitch backwards like that and sometimes save the fastball for later in the count, it just sort of explodes on hitters and gets right by him. That was the first fastball they bat, and clearly the timing just wasn't there for him. Here's the catcher, Bo Naylor. 
He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. The 1-1. One -one. That misses off the outside edge. And he deals. Fought off foul. Two two. Ground ball right side could be two. Oh, behind yeah. the back. Throw to first, but he beat it. You want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff, just like we saw. Brian Rocchio now at the plate. The pitch. Two gone, the possible go-ahead run at first. That That's one missed. Three. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And here it comes. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Three, two now. In the air, left field, down the line. Dives. What a play. One of the most fun and exciting things you could do as an outfielder. You lay out, you make a diving catch, and you end the inning. That gets the team fired up in the dugout. We go to the eighth. Now it's the DH. Ryan Mountcastle. The 1-1. One -one. Nope. Outside. Way out front for strike two. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Out to short. Throw save. And that was close. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Go ahead, run on base. And into the box for Baltimore, Ryan O'Hearn. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Inside, just missed. With the go-ahead run at first, and we're in the top of the eighth. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Ranging back. Brings it in. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jordan Westberg. Swing and he popped it up. Fry settles under. Squeezes it. And there's two down. Now back. So next to him for Baltimore, Heston Kerstad. And a curve is down and in. Now a pop up on the infield. He's under it. And that's the third out. And the Orioles leave one. Score remains deadlocked at one. 
That was an opportunity to do damage. He popped it up instead. Frustrating at bat. He'll be thinking about that one for a while. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Keegan Aiken. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boog. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. Steven Kwan digs in for the Guardians. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The two on. Gets under and pops it up. Should have this one. Makes the grab one away. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. One ball, two straight. Now this is in the air down the line. And that drops foul. Next pitch is downstairs. Movement in the bullpen. Grayson Rodriguez. The hard throwing righty is up and loosening. That's out to center field. Kowser under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two down. The batter, the designated hitter, Jose, Jose Ramirez down. digs in for the Guardians. Two down, nobody on. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. Score remains tied 1 1. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Xavier Curry. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. And into the box for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. Ramon Urias. And another ball. Swing and a miss. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Connor Norton digs in now. And the righty deals. And fouled off. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count, and it clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. And a ball evens the count. All tied up here at the top of the night. Leaves it to Bender for the strikeout. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Give him straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. So two down now, and here is Colton Kowser. Two outs. 
swing and a miss, and that is that. Three up, three down for him there. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. All tied, 1-1. One, one. Bottom nine, and now Josh Naylor. Well, one swing's a lot easier than getting two or three hits to win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Throws to first in time. A huge out to start the bottom of the night. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. So in now for Cleveland, David Fry. And now the lefty. Up the middle, Norby. And that quickly, two away. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Now it's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base bats. Edge of the zone for a strike. Now one and two. Two out, space is empty. On the ground at first. What a stop. Takes it himself, and he got him. Nicely done at first for the out. Excellent stop right there. He wants to take it himself, waves the pitcher off, and continues to run into the dugout. Back here in Cleveland, and now the switch hitting catcher, Adley Rutschman. Singing, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. High in the air, out to right. Noel under it. Drops into the glove. Runner tags at second. And he's in safely at third with one out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Now it's the right fielder, Anthony Santander. Anything but a strikeout here. This at bat could end up defining the game. Deep breaths in the box. And a 1-1. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. One ball, two strikes. Here comes a pitch. That Four one misses. Four. Ball two. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. In to score as the runner from third. It's 2-1. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. One down, runner at first. Ryan Mountcastle will hit next. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swings through that one. One ball, two strikes. Santander, the base runner at first with one out. Two balls, two strikes. In the dirt, no advance. Good job behind the dish. Hands 
strikes and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap.